today's video, I got a video for you guys that I've seen some questions on the, uh, even on Instagram, but people are always asking, how do you attack the Philly shell? Because there's a lot of videos on Philly shell and defense and how to use the Philly shell. But today I'm gonna show you one way how you can, def how you can attack the shoulder roll Philly shell defense, okay? So if I'm boxing Danny, And I'm uh, gonna be the guy that's using the Philly shell. So if, if, I'm, if, I'm, in, if I'm in a predominantly in a Philly shell position, okay, and, and I'm in this position, and he starts to throw, this is off of one of the guy, this is just one way, it's just one way to attack it, okay? So there's a ton of ways to attack it, and I will go over a lot of other ways, okay? A lot of things that you can do against the Philly shell. But a lot of times, you know, a guy, can be in this position, he'll roll, he'll roll with the right hand, you throw a right hand, or he'll or you throw a one-two, he catches a jab, he rolls with a right hand, right? He catches a jab, he rolls with a right hand. Okay, he's in this position, he catches the jab, he rolls the right hand, and then he'll come back with his own right hand. Okay? So he's catching the jab, he's rolling the right hand, and he comes back with a right hand, okay? Catch a jab, roll the right hand, come back with a right hand. So now I'm catching his jab, I'm rolling with his right hand. So what he can do, he starts to see what I do. A lot of times, you know, a guy will roll the shot, and of course he doesn't just stay there, he'll come back to his position. In other words, jab, throw the right hand, he rolls, and then he comes back. So now he, what he can try to do is he, and he throws, the first time he throws a one-two at me, okay? Then the next time he throws a jab, and he fakes the right hand and then throws the right hand. You see what he did there? So he throws a he throws a one two. Then the next time he catches, that's it. See, I, I rolled double because I knew it was coming. Just me instinctively. But what you can do is the guy's rolling, then he comes back to his position, and then you can hit him with it because he rolls and then he comes back. So he's throwing a, and he might anticipate, he may anticipate to throw his own right hand off of that feint. And then he's going to run right into the right hand. So what we're doing, if you didn't, if you didn't catch what we're doing, he's fainting the right hand. So the first time he throws the one-two, that's what I did. Okay, do it again. I catch the jab and I roll with the right hand. Go slow so they see. Catch the jab, roll with the right hand. Okay. So then the next time he throws the jab, he faints the right hand, and maybe I'm going to come. I think I'm going to come back with the right hand. He hits me with the right hand, nails me. Okay, because my my defense is to catch the jab. Roll with the right hand, come back with my own right hand. Okay? Now, so you're catching the jab, roll, come back with the right hand. So now the next time, catch, faint the right hand, boom! When I'm coming back with that right hand, he's running me into his right hand because he fainted the right hand. Okay? Even if I don't come back and punch, I might come back to my set. So in other words, I'm catching the jab, and that's it, I roll with it, right? So the next time, so the next time, catch the jab, Boom! Just because I just came back, not even because I threw the right hand. So I'm catching the first time, catch a jab, roll with the right hand. I'm in that position, right? Okay, now, the next time, jab, he feints it, I come back, because I'm like, okay, I gotta come back, because he didn't throw it. Now he throws it, that split second. It's a chain, it's, a, it's, it's, all, it's all timing. It's all timing. So on the pads, you can work on it like this, you know? He's throwing a one-two. That's it. Throws a one-two. The next time he throws, that's it. Right hand, left hook, you can come back with, right? So he's going one-two. One. That's it. Now that feint, why it dis is so dis disguising is the way you throw it, too. See, the way he's throwing, he's throwing, he's feinting the same way he does. That's it, the same way he would throw the right hand. So when you're practicing and you want to say, how do I throw my right hand? I throw my right hand, so now I just throw it, just, that's it. You can throw it just one quarter out, and then bring it out, and bring it, bring it back, and then you're going to crank it, right? And you can throw it. So you throw it on one, two, then he's going, that's it. You can bring it out just a little bit, so the guy really, and he goes for the bait, right? So you go one, two, one, 
That's it. Beautiful. Do it again. One, two. Good. One, two. You hear a little pause. And you work on it like elbows in. Pocket one eye. There you go. One, two. There you go. Beautiful. Okay. So that's just a, like I said, it's one way to crack the Philly shell is uh, using some feints at your right hand when, when, the, when the guy's using a shoulder roll. When he's shoulder rolling your right hand, you throw a good one, two, or right hand, and you keep on getting caught with a right hand. Well, if he's catching you with the right hand off your right hand, start feinting your right hand. And then throw your right hand, and he might run right into it because he's coming instinctively, he keeps coming back with that and hitting you with the right hand. The next time that he, that, that when you feign it, he could be rolling and coming back with the right hand, and you're, now you're coming with your right hand, you're gonna crack him. So that's just a really good way to crack the Philly shell. Like I said, I'll be coming out with some, some other ways to really deal with it when you have a guy predominantly in one position. That's why I always, I always feel like, you know, that's one component is the Philly shell. And even Floyd Mayweather, who used it tremendously, but he would mix it up. He knew how to disguise it. So you, you have to learn how, if you're sitting in a set pattern all the time when you're in that Philly shell, and, the, and you constantly are doing the same thing, then you can use feints to really make that guy fall into your trap instead of you falling into his. Okay, so um, follow me on Instagram at Tommy and Keller Boxing, uh, Facebook, Tommy and Keller's World Class Boxing Gym. And uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Really appreciate all your guys' support over the last two years. Uh, we're almost surpassing 100,000 uh, subscribers, and it's all because you guys. So let's keep it rolling.